how to get the most out of your last two weeks before the PGD SMA exam. In this video, we will be covering the most important question types and concepts which you can prepare and improve your score with minimal effort. There is a popular rule or saying known as Pareto rule, which is like the 20-80 rule, which says that around 20% of your effort generates 80% of the results. Now, don't stick with this 20-80 number. The essence of Pareto rule is that there is always a scope for minimal effort and maximal returns. So that is what is the focus of this video. Identifying the question types, concepts and chapters which we can prepare in the last two weeks and improve our PGD SMA performance. Hence, I analyzed the previous year question papers and the syllabus of the PGD SMA exam and I found out that there are topics which can be prepared in the last two weeks and they contribute, wait for it, roughly 60% of your PGD SMA exam. You need to give a lot of importance to these questions, chapters, because it is pretty evident that in the last 15 days, you cannot prepare the entire syllabus. If you have already covered the syllabus of the exam, you can have a thorough revision. But let's say you have not covered the syllabus. So what are those questions, question types and chapters and concepts which can give you maximum score improvement? So let me list out the question areas and concepts which will contribute to roughly 60% of your PGD SMA exam. So the first is sequence and series. So when I say sequence and series, we need to focus on arithmetic progression, geometric progression, and harmonic progression. The next is inequalities. The next is quadratic equation. Now in quadratic equation, obviously solving the equation is pretty obvious. So that is very unlikely to come. So a lot of questions based on the roots of the quadratic equation, the shape of the quadratic curve and all those things could come in the paper. But yes, those are not very difficult things to learn. In the last two weeks, you can devote some time to quadratic equation and quadratic expressions and you can master it. Now the next is expansion of e to the power x ln x, sin x, cos x and so on and so forth because if you know the expansion of these things you just have to memorize it right then there are a lot of questions which are directly based on the expansion it could be on limits or it could be based on series summation and all now the next thing is coordinate geometry and straight lines the next is functions so when i talk about functions it could be questions on functions related to the period of function related to the range of function domain codomain whether the function is on to into surjective bijective injective so you get the drift right now the next thing which you need to study is maxima and minima so when we talk about maxima and minima so essentially we have to understand how to differentiate functions and whenever we have the first differentiation zero it could be either a local maxima or a local minima and yes based on this there could be a lot of questions now the next topic is basic concepts of statistics like mean median mode variance standard deviation because ultimately you're getting into a course which will teach you applied statistics the next is probability and basics i mean i don't want you to solve advanced questions on probability just the basic definition of probability and some simple questions on probability because ultimately probability and statistics will be forming a major chunk of your course curriculum so if you do not like probability it's highly likely that you would not enjoy this course and i'm pretty much assuming that you will definitely have some idea about probability so just revise the basics of probability and then you're good to go so these are the topics which you can focus on in the last 15 days if you think that the syllabus is too vast to cover in the last two weeks but let's say you have already covered the syllabus then this video is not for you then you need to revise the entirety of the syllabus whatever you have read so far because only that will maximize your score so you understand this thing that there's a clear cut distinction if you are somewhat unsure about your syllabus coverage then focus on the chapters and question types which i have told you but if you are thorough with the syllabus just revise whatever you have read so far and by that way i'm pretty sure you can perform really well in the entrance test for pgd sma best of luck for this exam 
and hope to hear your success stories.